and you'll feel your stretch right along the front. You'll feel it right here in your hip flexors. And then you pull your knee up and forward, lunge out, step forward again. Good, and you'll carry that on for like 40, 50 meters, something like that. Um, another really good stretch, if you're trying to open up your hips, if you'd like to come inside, we can actually sit down on the mat. But. Oh man, uh, yeah, that's cool, because uh, y'all saw it, and I was like, I want to ask these guys real quick, because we're travelers. Like, we don't live here, we just keep traveling around the world and learning new cultures and new things. That's very cool. My dad always wanted me in the Kung Fu, wanted me to be like Bruce Lee, but I'm more of a musician than a killer. Okay. But I still do Kung Fu anyway, <laughs> so I'm cool. out there doing more stance. I just don't believe him. He says he did it, he had to do it 15 minutes. Who? My dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just don't believe him. I'm working to an hour, and I'm only at eight and t eight minutes and six seconds right now for horse stats. And I'm uploading videos. You know, I got this. I got this stick on my knees. And... Can you pistol squat? What is that? So a pistol squat is going to be a squat variant where you oh, hold your leg shit. out and then you you'll squat down into your heel on one leg. I. And you know what? I've seen that. But yeah. I've so you'll really you'll worked. squat down 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 and then stand up 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 up. Okay. And listen, when it comes to isolations and things like that, it's all about mobility. So I'm gonna be honest with you, man, you're jacked. You're in way better shape than I am. Like, fantastic for training your body, sir. That's incredible. Man, okay. <laughs> um, the big thing for me is being able to move, right? So I don't have to be quite as strong as someone else if I can move better than them. Yes. And when it, comes to, uh, when it comes to American Kempo Karate, we use a lot of techniques that, that rely on borrowed force. So I'm gonna use your force and so long as I can move with with your energy, then I can counterattack through your energy, right? That's that's kind of the big thing for that. Mm, I man, I did a lot of Aikido too, mm -hmm. and we have to use all that body weight, like joint and we call it tendon, pretty much like wrist lock or wrist. Yeah, joint manipulation, like, single uh, joint manipulations, and that I, kind of thing. You know, and I remember like I didn't really like it so much because it felt really just good. It's called Aikido, right? It's like empathy. So you're basically feeling everything and like I like the katas and karate too. I had a friend who did Shogun and he used to walk me through his katas and stuff and that was pretty cool man. I, I agree with you. I think using it makes a lot of sense. You use it in your body can you get better again. Yeah. So I've been stretching my hips for like years, man, and I'm just wanting to sit like crisscross. And I have not been able to do that. But I was like, I wanna do the splits because Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like yeah. for an hour, I don't think I could do it unless I could do splits and get my hips right. Let's do this, okay? I'm gonna teach you two more stretches. One is for your iliopsoas, one is for your uh, piriformis. So I like that. Yeah. Here, here's what's gonna happen, okay? I'm just gonna sit right down to do this. I'm gonna sit right down on my bottom. Hi. You guys are headed out? I'm just gonna take Autumn home to shower. Okay, love you. Love you too, bye. So what, what's gonna happen Hi. next is I'm gonna take my heel. <laughs> Thank I'm, you. Thank you. I'm gonna put it up on top of my knee just like this, okay. then I'm gonna let my hip sink out as far as I can. I'm gonna pull my heel in, and then here I come up onto my hip, or off of my bottom, excuse me, and I'm gonna try to press my hip forward as far as I can. Then I lean back, and I pull from underneath. So I'll swim underneath. I can pull up here. I can pull up here, which will give you a deeper stretch in your piriformis, and you'll feel it right along here, right? And if you have a foam roller, then the next step, if you're trying to get a deeper activation, deeper stretch, what you'll actually do is place your foam roller on your piriformis and roll out oh. as you stretch. Oh. The second thing to open up your iliopsoas is the same lunging drill that we did earlier, where you'll lunge forward, press nice and forward, opening up your hip flexor on the rear side. And then what you're going to do is gradually let your knee touch the ground. And then you want to think about it like this. If my right leg is back, my left arm is going to reach up to the sky, and then I'm going to circle back and touch my heel. What you'll feel is that stretch reaches all the way up this side of your body, and there's a band of muscles that sit underneath your, uh, let's see, so you have your rectus abdominis, which is your six, pack, uh, your six pack muscles, right? And then underneath that, you have your transverse abdominis, which is nature's weight belt. So if you're lifting something heavy and you tense your core, that's your transverse abdominis engagement, right? So what's happening is there's actually a band of muscles that insert at the back of your hip and terminate at the base of your spine. Those muscles are what we're aiming at stretching, and that's what we do when we lunge forward and we lean back. You'll be able to feel that open up nice and wide. Another thing that you can do is called fire log pose. So if, you're, if you can't sit crisscross, this will be a challenge for you. So you start with the piriformis stretch and gradually build into fire log, which looks more like this. So you'll, uh, this is actually something I'm working on. You'll see that my knee won't go all the way down. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my heel up 
and my knee down. And that will stretch on the inside of your piriformis, on the outside of your hip. And then if you're trying to actually do the splits, you have to have flexibility and mobility in your groin, but you'll actually have to have more strength in your abductors. So you'll have to train the muscles that open your leg like this in order to pull the muscles and tendons in your groin out. So if you don't balance the strength with the flexibility, you can't achieve your full straddle. Okay, gotta go straight flexibility. So you'll have, to, you'll have to train strength on your abductors, uh, a little bit of strength on your adductors, where your legs are coming in, right? And a lot of flexibility in your groin. 